That's Nigerians' pocket crying for help. According to one campaign's death report, if we want to keep being Africans' giant, there are two things we need to do to reduce our debt and increase our revenue. Number one is to take some actions we have control over, which is domestic, and collaborate with other African countries to push for a change in other areas we have no control over, which is multilateral. I will share some suggestions in 60 seconds. One, the Nigerian government should manage the country's debt in such a way that it is sustainable and we are not leaving a huge burden for the next generation. 2. Resist the attempt to bring back full subsidy, which mostly benefited the rich. But they must also ensure that the fund saved from subsidy is invested in critical areas that impact the lives of Nigerians, like health, education, agriculture, and basic infrastructures. It will be sad if after enduring the hardship of subsidy removal, Nigerians cannot point to any tangible thing the government is doing with the funds. 3. Drastically cut waste in government expenditures and cost of governance, aka any house spending. Nigerians cannot be the only one making sacrifices. The leaders need to make sacrifices too. But more importantly, we need to make sure every cobble is well spent on things that will benefit the people. 4. Also work with government in the region to call on international development partners to support initiatives that will reduce the interest rates on loans that are given to Nigeria and other African countries. 5. Block leakages in public finance and reduce corruption. To learn more about one campaign's debt report, click the link in the description. Follow us now for more videos like this one.